Hey guys, I'm Danny Spees and today's clean and delicious 101 ingredient is the artichoke. Now artichokes tend to be another one of these veggies that can be a little bit intimidating to work with. But the truth is, once you know what to do with them and how to work with them, they're actually quite simple. Now technically an artichoke is an immature flower bud of a thistle plant. They're round and green and sometimes you're even going to see them more tulip shaped with these little purple tips. You can eat almost the entire artichoke. Uh, the stem is edible, the heart is edible, which you'll see once we cut into it, and the base of the leaves are edible. The flavor falls somewhere in between celery and asparagus. So if you can imagine it, it has a really clean, fresh taste. Nutritionally, they've got lots to offer. Tons of fiber, lots of antioxidants, and a good dose of vitamin C. Plus, they're high nutrient, low calorie, which is exactly the type of foods we want to be piling into our diet. A large artichoke only has about 50 calories. Now like lots of fruits and veggies, you are going to see artichokes at the grocery store almost all year round, but their prime time is really in the spring and in the fall. Remember this is when you're going to get the best flavor, highest nutrients, and the best cost. When you're buying your artichokes, you just want to look for artichokes that are nice and green and that feel a little bit heavy for their size. So in other words, they should feel nice and plump, not hollow. As for the leaves, you want them to be nice and tight on top and a really fresh artichoke will literally squeak when you squeeze it. As for the stem, the fresher the cut, the better. So try to avoid any artichokes that are super shriveled up on the bottom. Every now and then you may find an artichoke that has some brown streaking on the leaves like this one does. And you know what? It's nothing to worry about. It's just a result of frost and many would argue that it actually makes the artichoke taste sweeter. Once you get your artichokes home, you just want to pop them into a plastic bag, wrap them up, and pop them into the veggie bin. They do like to be used sooner than later, so try to buy the artichokes closer to the date you plan on using them. Once you're ready to work with your artichokes, the first thing you want to do is give them a good rinse under some cold water. And you know, if they seem especially dirty, you could even soak them in a water bath for about 10 or 15 minutes. Now artichokes have an enzyme in them that causes them to oxidate fairly quickly, which basically means once you start cutting into it, they're going to turn brown. So here's what you need to know in order to avoid this. One, you've got to use a stainless steel knife and pot. If you use iron or aluminum, that is going to cause the artichoke to turn brown. And yes, my, my friends, this does include aluminum foil. And number two, you want to keep a lemon on hand because once we start cutting in to the artichoke, the oxygen hits and that oxidation process starts. So if you use a cut lemon and rub right over the surface of the cut areas, this will stop the oxidation process in its tracks. Now that we got all the rules out of the way, the first thing you want to do is start to pull off any little random tough leaves around the stem and the base of the artichoke. You just pull them right back. As for the stem, if you've got really long stems, you can actually cut them off and cook them with the artichokes. They are as delicious as the artichoke heart is, but it's not very often that you find the artichokes with the really long stems. So if you've got an artichoke like the one I've got here, you're just going to trim the stem off and then just score the bottom. My mom always told me that scoring the bottom of the stem helps the artichoke to cook more evenly. And don't forget to hit it with the lemon. Now as for the leaves, what you're going to do is cut off about the top quarter portion of each leaf. That's the thorny kind of spiky part of the artichoke and it's not edible. Now I find the easiest way to do this is with a pair of kitchen scissors and you're just going to start at the bottom and work your way up. And don't forget as you go, just keep going back around and rubbing those cut areas with a little fresh lemon. Now once you get to the top of the artichoke where the leaves are really tight and kind of thin, then you're just going to grab a serrated knife and just slice off the top about half inch or so of the artichoke. Now what you're going to see is right in the center of the artichoke here is a really tight cluster of leaves and this is where the choke lives. And if you've ever accidentally eaten the choke, you'll know why it gained its name because it will literally get stuck in your throat and make you choke. So it's completely not edible. But I find it a whole lot easier to remove 
once the artichokes are cooked up. So we're gonna get to those a little bit later. Now the best way to cook a whole artichoke is to either boil or steam it. And I definitely prefer steaming it because one, it doesn't get waterlogged, so it has a lot better flavor. And two, it maintains more nutrients. And the best part is you don't need any fancy equipment to cook an artichoke. All you need is a nice big stainless steel pot. So come on, let's, let me show you what to do. Now I've got a couple inches of water along with a few teaspoons of olive oil and the juice of an entire lemon coming to a boil here. Once you're at a boil, you wanna reduce the heat to a simmer and then you're gonna place your artichokes stem side down right in the bottom of the pot. Then you're just gonna pop on the lid and let this go for about 30, 35 minutes. And if you had really big artichokes, it'd probably be more like 45 minutes. All we're looking for is for those artichokes to become nice and tender. And the big fat leaves at the bottom will peel off really easily. And you wanna keep an eye on these about halfway through. Just take a peek at the water level because what I find is sometimes the water will start to evaporate, in which case I'll just add a splash of water right back into the pot. Once the artichokes are done, you're just gonna shut off the heat here and remove the artichokes with a slotted spoon and just pop them onto a plate or a bowl because you're gonna need to give them a few minutes to cool off. Now, if you wanted to double check just to make sure that they're cooked, you could do that really easily by pulling off one of these thicker bottom leaves and if it pulls away from the artichoke super easy like that one just did, you know your artichoke is ready to roll. Now after you've given your artichokes a few minutes to cool down and they're ready to handle, here is what you wanna do. First things first, you're gonna slice the artichoke right down the middle lengthwise. Beautiful. And then we're ready to remove the choke. Now you see this part right here? This is what I was talking about earlier. That is the choke and it's not edible. So you're just gonna scrape it out, all this kind of thorny, bristly choke. Get it all out of there. And what it rests on is the heart. And the heart is the creme de la creme of the artichoke. Now artichokes are great hot, cold, or room temperature. And they love to be served with a good squish of lemon over the top or a simple vinaigrette, or my personal favorite, a little garlic aioli. Now, if you've never eaten an artichoke before, I will take great pleasure in showing you just how to do that. So, you want to start with the outer leaves. So you're just gonna pull off one of the leaves, and you're gonna see that it's the base of the artichoke, that's where the meat is. So in order to eat it, you wanna just scrape it along either the top or bottom teeth. I go bottom. Mm, 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 mm. You get a little bit of artichoke meat. And you do that with all the leaves, you just keep on going. So it's a fun food to eat because it takes a really long time. So once you've got through all of your leaves, you are left with the golden goose, and that's the artichoke heart. And it's just a big piece of artichoke flesh that is absolutely delicious, and you can just eat it with a fork and knife. Mm. Makes all that hard work worth it. Now, if this whole process still seems like a little bit more than you'd care to dive into, remember, you can buy artichoke hearts canned, jarred, and frozen, and they're all absolutely delicious, and they work really well tossed into salads, into egg dishes, soups, grains, even pastas. For more tasty and nutritious tips, ideas, recipes, and videos, be sure to check out cleananddelicious.com. I'm Danny Spees, and I'll see you guys next time with another Ingredient 101.